Hello, everyone. Hi there. Happy afternoon. I hope you're all having a wonderful afternoon. Welcome to the YMCA of Greater Toronto YouTube channel. My name is Nazia White, and I'm coming to you from my home. Welcome to your 4 p.m. yoga, soothing yoga class. This is a very gentle class. You can either do it with a chair or with not a chair. Um, I'm going to have a chair on the side just as some support. So you'll see a chair there for some support. It's so lovely to see everyone. Let me know uh, if you're coming from a different part of the world or if you're joining in from Canada and what part of Canada. It's nice to see everyone here. I'm going to just readjust our music. There we go. And let's, let me know if you can hear me giving me a thumbs up. It's been a beautiful day today. Chilly, but at least it's nice and clear. <laughs> if you're just joining in, welcome to the Wife Save Greater Toronto YouTube channel. My name is Nazia White, and you're joining me here today for your 4 p.m. soothing yoga class. This is a very gentle class. You can definitely use props such as a block or a strap, or as you can see, I have a chair as well that I'm using. I won't be sitting on the chair, but I'll be using it as some support as well. And as well, uh, if you have been uh, following us on Facebook or maybe the class that we had earlier this week, this week is National Volunteer Appreciation Week. So on behalf of the YMCA Greater Toronto Area, I'd like to give a big thank you to all of our YMCA volunteers. Hi, Anthony. So nice to see you. A big thank you to Anthony for all of his service that he's given from the Markham Y, I believe. Thank you, Anthony. Um, so a big thank you to all of our YMCA volunteers and all the volunteers across the world for your selfless kindness time that you give to make the world a better place. And for our YMCA volunteers, thank you for all the efforts, your generosity, your caringness. Thank you for all of that and for making our Y a better place so that uh, members and the community can enjoy um, and live a healthy lifestyle. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And we, all of us here at the YMCA of Greater Toronto, appreciate it as well. All right. So you are joining us for our soothing yoga class. If you were with me um, on Tuesday, I, I had a chair yoga class. So that was specifically only on the chair. We didn't get off the chair. Today it's soothing yoga. So it's a little bit more um, gentle, uh, but not on the chair. So we're going to be using the chair as a prop. Uh, but if you feel that you need to sit down on the chair, you can definitely do that. Remember, yoga is not about being in the most perfect pose. It's about being what is perfect for you today. And there are some days where you can come into a tree and stay in that balancing position for a really long time. And then there's other days that it just is, is you're falling out of that pose and that's okay. So just remember to listen to your body as we flow from one pose to the other. And if you haven't already uh, seen, we have our new microsite that is uh, up and coming called uh, The Bright Spot. So you'll get to see and hear more of that next week as well. Um, and you'll get to see our schedule that we'll, uh, we'll have for you for next week on YouTube channel. So it's so exciting that we're getting to bring all these lovely programs to you uh, on YouTube now. So for those that have been following us on Facebook, thank you so much. Anthony, thank you so much for joining us. Candace, thank you. So nice to see you. I'm sure Sam and Sherry are there behind. I will get started in about one more minute. Almost four o'clock, okay, but 45 more seconds. We're gonna be getting onto our mat. If you're just joining us, welcome to the Wipe Safe Greater Toronto YouTube channel. My name is Nazi White. I'm the Director of Adult Programming at the Mississauga YMCA. And today we have a soothing yoga class for you. All you need is yourself, comfortable clothing, bare feet, um, and either if you have a yoga mat or a carpet or even just a bare floor. If you are doing it on a carpet or the bare floor, make sure it's not too slippery for you. So maybe you might have to use running shoes so you don't slip and that's okay today too. Great. All right. Well, we've 
for another 10 more seconds and then we'll get ready. Anthony, can you let me know if the music is good? Can you hear the music all right? Great. Thanks so much. There we go. I see some people logging in, so that's wonderful. Thank you again for joining us. This is your 4 p.m. soothing yoga class. My name is Nazia White, and let's all get started. I'm going to walk my way back to the mat, and I'll see you on your mat in a standing position. There we go. Perfect. Welcome, everyone, to your 4 p.m. soothing yoga Again, all you need is a mat or a carpet, or you can use a bare floor. And I'm going to use a chair as a prop. If you have yoga blocks or a yoga strap, or maybe just a little a step up chair, you can also use that as well. Great. Let's all begin with our feet hip distance apart. Take a deep breath here. Inhale, raise your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, let it go. It's beautiful. Inhale. Raise your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Big breath here. Inhale through the nose. Let it go through the mouth. Ah, beautiful. Feet are still hip distance apart. I want you to take your big toe and ground it into the floor. Press your big toe into the floor. Now take your pinky into the floor. And all of your five toes, ten toes, into the floor. And imagine and visualize grabbing your heels into the floor. Beautiful. Now adjust your knees and adjust your hips so that your hips are right over your knees and your knees are right over your ankles. So stacking one over the other. Beautiful. So move around a little bit if you need to. Forward and back, side to side. Maybe take your stance wider or your stance a little bit closer, whatever you need to do. Now take your focus to your shoulders. Stack your shoulders right over your hips. Come forward and back until you get your shoulders stacked right over your hips. Beautiful. Head is in a nice neutral position. And take your arms to your side, palms facing towards me, and coming into your Tadasana, standing mountain pose. Close your eyes, my friends. Take a deep breath here. Inhale through the nose. Fill up your belly. Fill up your lungs. And then exhale through your nose. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Beautiful. Inhale. Big breath here. Even bigger than the last one. Exhale. Pull your belly button. Think about emptying it right out. Beautiful. Inhale. Drop the shoulders. Down and back. Exhale, press your feet into the floor. Two more here. Inhale, shoulders relaxed, chest is proud. Exhale, ground a little deeper into the floor. Bring your hands to your heart center, keeping your eyes closed. And I want you to set an intention right here for your class. Whatever your body needs, set an intention today. Take a deep breath here, inhale, and you, as you exhale gently, release your hands back down to your side, standing down to the Beautiful work, everyone. If you need a chair, you can hold on to a chair. I'm going to show you the various options. We'll start with some sun salutations. Inhale your arms up towards the ceiling, eyes to the ceiling. As you exhale, hinge from your hips and gently come in so that your hands are onto your shins. And if you notice, my back is flat. You can keep it here, or if it's available to you, you can maybe hold on to a chair if you feel like you need more balance, or maybe bring your hands directly to the floor. So this is what we call our forward fold, all the way down. Chest onto to your thighs. Beautiful work. Inhale, halfway lift, back is flat. Bring your hands to your shins, or if you already have your hands onto your shins, I just want you to focus on elongating your spine a little bit longer. Yes, exhale forward, fold hands to the floor if you can. Inhale, rise and shine all the way up. Hands to the ceiling and then hands to heart center. We're going to do this three more times together, and I want you to focus on linking it with your breath. Movement to your breath. Okay, let's do this. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Give yourself a nice big stretch. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Bring your hands as close as possible to the floor, if you can, or maybe to the top of your shins. 
Relax your head. Release all the wrinkles in your neck. Inhale, halfway lift back. It's flat, hands onto your shins. Or just think about elongating your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and shine. Arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, standing mountain pose, Tadasana. Great work. I'm going to do this again. This time I'm going to do it with a shift chair just to show you. Inhale, rise and shine. Arms to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Let your back just relax. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, Tadasana, standing mountain pose. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, rise and shine. Arms to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, hands to heart center and release. Beautiful work, everyone. Come to the top of your mat and take your feet. Take your right leg all the way back. Come to the top of your mat and take your right leg all the way back. Beautiful. Bend your left knee and pivot your right toes to face your right wall. Great. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. Keep it back a little bit. Three times. Left knee is bent and right toes are pivoting towards your right wall. Beautiful work. Now, allow your arms to come out shoulder height, coming in for your warrior two. Very nice. Soften the shoulders down. Take a deep breath here, inhale. And exhale, that back right outer edge of your feet is getting deeper into the floor. Beautiful work here. Inhale. Exhale, flip your palms towards the ceiling. Inhale. And as you exhale, gently take your left arm up towards the ceiling. Naturally, your right hand is going to fall down by your side. Reverse your work. Beautiful work here, everyone. Take a deep breath here. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, flip and reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, flip your palms in reverse. One more. Inhale, warrior two. Gaze past your left middle fingers. Exhale, flip your palms in reverse. Very nice. Gently come back to center. Hinge forward. So reach your left fingertips towards the left wall and place your right left forearm on the top of your left thigh. Extend your right arm up to the ceiling. Beautiful. So holding it here. So rather than pressing your left forearm into your thigh and just leaning there, really open up your chest. And again, my friends, you can definitely use a chair if you need to. If you find that this is too challenging, you can hold on to the chair. Okay? Great work. Take one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Let your top hand bring you back to center. Straighten your front knee and pivot your left foot to face to, to match where the right foot is. Place your hands onto your hips and take your stance a little wider. Beautiful. Take one more breath here. Inhale. Shrug the shoulders up to the ears and then draw the shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades. Exhale, start to hinge from your hips and come in for your halfway forward fold. This is what it looks like here. You can definitely hold on to the chair if you need to. Or maybe you can take your hands to the floor. Whatever your body needs today. Wide angle forward fold. Holding it here for three breaths together. Inhale and exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. One more breath. Inhale 
and exhale. Plant your hands onto your hips. Bend your knees and very slowly with a flat back, slowly come back up to standing. Great work, everyone. You can bring your stance a little closer. Now I want you to pivot to your right foot to face the right wall. Bend your right knee. Beautiful. Allow your arms to come out, coming in for your warrior two on the right side. Beautiful work. Now pressing your right toes into the floor, right heel into the floor. Feel your right arches lift up. Take your focus to your left foot. The left outer edge of your feet is pressing into that floor. Yes, because sometimes what likes to happen is our left, the outer edge just wants to lift up. So make sure you press that down. Great work. Now with your breath, inhale, flip your palms towards the ceiling. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Right hand goes up to the ceiling. Left hand naturally follows down. Inhale, warrior, two. Exhale, flip and reverse. Inhale, warrior, two. Exhale, flip and reverse. Inhale, warrior, two. One more. Exhale, flip and reverse. Beautiful, Joe, we come back to warrior two. Yes, how are we all feeling? You're feeling okay? Perfect, great job. Inhale, hinge forward to reach your fingertips, your left, your right fingertips towards the right wall. And gently place your right forearm on the top of your right thigh. Extend your left arm up to the ceiling. Great work, remember you can always use a chair if you need to, if you feel that your balance is off. I know that sometimes you, if your body wants to come forward, so really focus on opening up your chest to the ceiling. Where your eyes will go, your body will flow. So take your eyes to the ceiling, and naturally your chest is going to come up to the ceiling. Very nice. Take three more breaths here. Inhale through the nose, my friends. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, one more. Inhale. Exhale, let your top head bring you back to warrior two. Straighten your right knee and pivot your right toes to match the direction of your left toes. Yes. And let's see, focus on your breath and just try to take your stance a tiny bit wider. Yeah, there you go. Great work. Press the outer edges of your feet into the mat. Place your hands onto the, your hips. Inhale your shoulders up towards your ears. And then as you exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you. Inhale. And as you exhale, start to hinge from your hips. And bring your spine so that it's parallel to the floor. Yes, halfway. You can hold it here, my friends. Or if you want to go a little deeper, bring your hands to the floor or maybe a chair or a clock. Whatever feels good for you today. What I really want you to focus on in this position is releasing all the muscles in your neck, softening your muscles in your face, releasing your jaw off the roof of your mouth, and just letting it go, releasing your upper body. So push, bring your hips forward a little bit, and automatically you'll notice, notice you'll start to press onto your toes. Perfect. Good job. That's it. Take one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Take your stance a tiny bit closer together. Place your hands onto your hips. Bend your knees and with a flat back, slowly come back up to standing. Beautiful. Toe heel, your feet back to touch. Great work, everyone. That's your warrior series. Inhale, rise and shine. What we just finished was a series that helps to bring energy into the body. Wonderful work. Now, if you have your chair close by you, we'll work on some balancing series. Lift your right foot off the floor. Press your left foot into the floor. Good. So again, my friends, you can definitely hold on to a chair or a wall. Lifting your foot off the floor, bending your front knee, your right knee. Take a deep breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, take that knee out to the right side. Just gonna move around so you can actually see me a little bit more better. There we go. Perfect. Again, holding onto your chair if you need to. 
And if you want to challenge yourself, maybe no chair. And remember, if you fall out of this position, there's no judgment. Come right back and meet us here. Take one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Gently bring your knee back to center and release. Let's take this on to the other side. Lift your left foot off the floor. Bend your left knee. Flex your left foot. Spread your left toes wide. Good. You can hold on to the chair if you need to. And take that left knee out to the left side. Good. Beautiful work, everyone. Take a deep breath here. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Grounding down into the earth with your right foot. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale slowly. Come back to center. Beautiful work. Let's take three. Either above or below your, your knee joint. So lifting your right foot off the floor. And bring the bottom of your right foot to the instep of your left calf. Or you can simply keep your big toe off the floor. Notice what your body needs today. And right here, as soon as you get into position, bring your hands to your heart center. And give me five breaths. Let's all breathe together. Inhale through the nose. And let it out through the nose. Very nice. Inhale through the nose. And let it out. Two more breaths, my friend. Three more breaths. In. And out. Inhale. And exhale. One last one. You're doing so great. Inhale. And exhale. So we release. Wow. Wonderful work. Five breaths and three. That was very challenging, but you did an amazing job. Let's take three on the other side. Lifting your left foot off the floor. Bringing the bottom of your left foot to the instep of your right calf, or perhaps keeping your big toe to the floor. And remember, you can always use a chair if you need to. Once you set your gaze, find a spot in front of you, and everything else around that spot is like a cloud. That's what we call finding our drishti. And let's all breathe together for five breaths. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale and gently release. Very nice. Paddle your feet. Just lifting your heels off the floor. Beautiful work. Great work, everyone. Take a deep breath here. Inhale. And as you exhale, gently bring your feet to hip distance apart. Roll the shoulders back. Remember that Tadasana stance we said in the beginning of class. Find that Tadasana stance. Good. Grounding your feet into the earth. Inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to gently push your hips down as if you're going to sit onto your chair. And you can actually bring your chair right onto your mat, just in case you need some of that support. So sitting down as if you're sitting onto the chair, and bring your hands to your heart center. Good. You can hold it here, or you can bring your hands to cactus arms. Very nice. Squeezing your shoulder blades. Try not to round off your back, but open up your chest to your ceiling. Take two more breaths here, friends. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart center and slowly come in for a forward fold. Bring the hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands onto your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and shine all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen your body. Exhale, sit down low into your chair again. Using that chair as a support if you need to. Pressing your heels into the floor. Making sure that your knees don't go past your toes. So push your hips back. Yes. 
And you can either have your hands to your heart center or open up your arms to catch the sides. All together, give me two more breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Great work, everyone. One more. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Hands to heart center. And slowly release from your hands to the floor, forward fold or the chair. Inhale, halfway lift, back is flat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and shine all the way up. Hands to heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, hands to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, back is flat. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat and slowly come all the way down to the mat. Now again, my friends, you can definitely come onto a seated chair if you need to. So remember to listen to your body. Once you're on your mat, your knees are on the mat, your hands are flat onto the mat, and you're spreading your fingers so wide. Yes, as wide as you can go. Curl your toes behind you and give your feet a nice stretch there. Push your hips back. Very nice. Take one breath here, inhale. As you exhale, gently come back to center. And I want you to imagine that you have a pencil right at the tip of your tailbone and the writing part of pen is, is parallel or facing the ceiling. So you're gonna give me circular motions with your hips going in a circular direction. So I want you to imagine that pen is sitting up tall on your tailbone with the tip of the pen drawing a circle on your ceiling. And as you keep on drawing that circle, I want you to get that circle bigger and bigger. Yes, just in one direction. So get the hips all the way back, all the way to one side, come forward and over to the other side. Nice big circle with those hips. And then reverse that circular direction. First you'll notice you'll start to go in a small circular direction. And then sooner or later, when you're ready, get your circle going a little bit bigger. Yes. Adding motion to your shoulders. Adding a little bit more heat to your hips. Beautiful. Take your hips as far back as you can. Over to the left, forward, and then back. Beautiful work, everyone. Slowly bring your hips to a pause in your tabletop position, where your wrists are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. Take a great deep breath here, inhale. As you exhale, start to tuck your tailbone in. Round off your back and bring your chin towards your chest. Beautiful, feeling a beautiful stretch in your upper back. Really round it up. So push that upper back into the ceiling. Inhale, and then as you exhale, slowly release and drop your belly button towards the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and walk your eyes forward out in front of you. Exhale, round it off again. Chin towards your chest, tuck your tailbone in. Inhale, drop the belly button, squeeze your shoulder blades, eyes come forward. One more time, exhale, round it off, chin towards your chest, tuck your tailbone in. And gently inhale, drop, squeeze those shoulder blades. Beautiful work. Great job. Gently bring your big toes together and flare the knees out as wide as you can go and bring your hips to sit onto your heels. Start to walk your hands forward. Now my friends, if you have a towel or a block, you can place that towel or block right over, right underneath your head. Okay. Or maybe today if your head can touch the mat, you can definitely keep your head onto the mat as well. Take two more breaths here in your child pose. And slowly, very slowly, walk your hands back, come back into your tabletop position. When you're ready, slowly swing your legs over to the side and come in a comfortable seated position. So if that means onto a chair, that's totally fine. Or if it means that you have your legs out in front of you, whatever feels good for you. 
Once you're in your comfortable seated position, I want you to try to bring the bottoms of your feet together to touch. And today, maybe your knees might be over here and it might be very hard for you to come forward. So don't worry about coming forward. Let your hands be that support. So you can TP your hands behind you. Yes. And I want you to make sure that your tailbone is elongated, nice and tall. Your spine is elongated. Good. So maybe today the knees are up high. Keep your torso, upper body back. Good. And eventually, if your knees can come to the floor, you can slowly come to come, come bring your torso forward. Beautiful work here. Inhale. And exhale. Great job, everyone. When you're ready, I want you to gently release your legs and come to lay on your back. All the way down onto the floor, laying on your back. Or if you're on the chair, have your bring your back all the way to the back of your chair. So you're in a comfortable, relaxed position. Laying all the way down onto your floor, into Savasana. Take your legs as wide as you need to go. Take your arms as wide as you need to go. And close your eyes. Yes, beautiful work, everyone. Laying down. Coming back to your natural ebb and flow of your breath. Remembering your intention you said in the beginning of class. And just listening to your breath. In your savasana position, either sitting in a relaxed position into a chair or laying on your mat, I want you to place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Great. Now as you inhale, I want you to notice your belly rise. And as you exhale, I want you to notice your belly falls down. Good, notice that falling and rising that happens in your body, that happens in your belly and in your chest. Notice this calm sensation that you have created right now through these 30 minutes of this, just these simple yoga poses. Notice how your body's feeling. I want you to take this feeling with you for the rest of the day and for the rest of the week. And at any time, if you feel that anxiousness or uneasiness, Slowly place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And just notice the rise and the fall. You are more than welcome to stay in this position. Or if you're ready, slowly start to bring feeling to your fingers and your toes. With your eyes still closed, rolling over onto your right side body, using your right arm as a pillow, Lay onto your side body. And nice and easy, slowly come up to a seated position. Whatever feels good for you. With your eyes so closed, gently bring your hands together and your hands to your heart center. Take one deep breath, inhale through the nose. And let it out through the mouth, making an HA sound. The light in me acknowledges light in each and every one of you. And I want to thank you for sharing your energy with me today. Let's end our practice by bringing our hands to our third eye. And together we say, namaste. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you all had a lovely class. If you felt like this class brightened up your day, or if you think that this class would brighten up someone else's day, please feel free to share this link or subscribe down below. And keep an eye out for next week as our official launch of our um, Bright Spot microsites that's going to be linked onto our YMCA of Greater Toronto page and where you'll get so many wonderful classes. Tomorrow we have the lovely Beverly joining us. Thank you so much, Anthony. Oh, I love that. That's so lovely. Anthony, you are a ray of sunshine. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Again, 
a huge thank you to all of our YMCA Greater Toronto volunteers for your time and compassion. I'll sign up for now. And I want to say to everyone, stay active, stay healthy, and stay home, and keep on shining bright. Bye for now.